Hi guys. Well, it's Friday. I got Cole with me. Hey Cole, come here. Say hi, buddy. Come here. Right here. Right here. On this side. Say hi. There he is. There he is. Good boy. Okay, that's it. That's it. Now. Right. Anyway, I'm here in the truck. I took him for a quick walk or whatever, but not much of one because it's cold outside. We got the cold stick on the back again. We got a little snow and everything. But uh, I just want to talk about the um, recent events. No, this ain't nothing to eat. Stop. He thinks this is something. This is my newest thing I got from Amazon. Thought I'd let you guys see it. I took it out of the box already, but it came in this nice little bag here. So, what this is, is uh, I recently had a situation where I locked my keys in the car. I couldn't get in. I had to call AAA. So, um... I ordered a, a entry kit and whatever in case you lock the keys inside your car. And the bag comes with this right here. I already had one of these. Got one of these from Harbor Freight. What it does is you slide it into the seam of the door and you pump it up with this and it separates the door enough so that you can get a coat hanger down inside. And I tried that, but uh, it didn't work. Coat hanger is too flimsy. And it, I spent an hour or so messing around with it. Finally called AAA and um, they came, took care of it. This is a wedge you put in there to keep the door open so that you can get into it. Uh, this is a smaller one, same thing. It's um, got a pump to it, just a smaller one. They got different sizes. And uh, it's like different wedges, different size wedges and everything to get in or whatever. And they've, I've had AAA come and get me out of my car so many times that, uh, and I watch them so I know how to do it and whatever. This right here, I guess this is the handle. And it has a screw um, edge on the end here so that you can attach different lengths to it to make it longer. There's two three and then this is the part that you use to unhook the the door to get in it's pretty cool so now i don't have to use my triple a call-ins to get into the truck anymore this stuff will stay in the back and um i keep the back locked too but i got a spare key and i'll probably um put it into a little magnetic lock and put it in the back or underneath the car the truck carry it somewhere where I can get to it and I'll uh, be able to um, you know get in here in case I get locked out again because it's gonna happen inevitably because you know you gotta keep your car on so it can stay warm or heat it up before you leave because your windows are all refrosted and everything and um, a lot of times I leave cold in the truck I just leave it running and then I'll go into the store or something I leave them in here and um, I've got a spare key, but these keys are almost $200 for these vehicles. So I got, this one works, this is good, it's got a good battery and it works. The other one, I don't know what happened to it, the original, it, it just uh, stopped working. You know, so I can't get the door open or whatever and, you know, that's just the way it is. But anyway, problem solved. But um, I want to talk about um, prepping and everything. Recently in the news, we've got a um, couple of situations. One situation happened here in Michigan where somebody uh, train um, derailed and uh, some toxins were spilt or whatever. And um, in these people's infinite wisdom, they decided to burn the stuff, you know, which now the stuff is up in the air fl floating around or whatever. They had to evacuate some people and stuff and everything. Or whatever. So it's kind of crazy what happened. Um, I don't know how to deal with those kind of chemicals or whatever. Maybe they know what they're doing or whatever. You know, maybe you no know, burning it, you know, was a lesser evil than having it sink down into the uh, into the aquifer, you know, down into the water system or whatever. So, um, but now it's in the atmosphere and whatever. Maybe it's it'll dissipate into so many parts per million, and that was the right thing to do. You know, I can't second guess these people or whatever. I don't have the um, the um, knowledge that they have for what they're doing about you hope that these people have better sense than you do you know you can always you know second guess people or, or, or people's actions um based on what you know happens after the fact or whatever but nobody really can know 
you know, so they did what they could, whatever, and whatever. But um, the situation is, people that live in that area, shit hit the fan in their area. Without a nuclear holocaust, without power outage, without an EMP, without um, political unrest and, you know, uh, down in the dead, you know, kind of situation happening or whatever, it just, a train derailed and caught fire and whatever, and now those people are, you know, in a bad situation, you know, just like that, you know, you know, so, you know, where you live, you, you no place is safe, it, anything can happen, you know, a plane could fall out of the sky and blow up and whatever, you know, or a tornado could come through, or an earthquake, hurricane, all kinds of stuff, a snowstorm, you know, we can get, you know, 10 feet of snow at one time and that, that's enough to kill a lot of people right there you know people aren't prepared to, to, for a situation where you got so much snow that you can't even get out your door and of course if that happens the power is going to be out so you're going to be stuck in your house and it's going to be freezing temperatures and you can't, you're not going to be able to get out of your house and when that stuff melts you're going to have floods so um you never know what's going to happen so you got to be prepared for as much as you can you know like I said, I'll get a little something. This is a little something I got, you know, to solve one problem, you know. You can't solve everything. You can't prepare for everything, but you can be as prepared as you can be for most things or whatever, you know. You know you need power, electricity. You know you need um, food and water, you know. What's the problem with getting extra food, extra water? Um, an alternative way of powering your uh, appliances and your, you know, um, lights and everything or whatever there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with prepping and being prepared for situations because you never know what's going to happen you know things are just you know kind of crazy you know um so anyway just thought i'd make a video about that oh yeah something else happened too i think uh uh um, a vehicle um ran off the road and whatever i'm, I'm next to a, a major highway you know not too close to it but close enough to where if, you know, something were to blow up or whatever, or go off the road or something or whatever, it could affect me depending on the way the winds are blowing, you know. So you never know. You just never know. It might be a situation. You might have to bug out, whatever, you know. A plane could crash, you know. It doesn't have to back crash right on, right on top of your house or whatever. These houses are so close together that uh, if one goes on fire, it's going to spread to the others pretty darn quick, you know. And um, you might not be able to, you know, stop the fire from spreading and wherever your house will catch on fire you can get burned out you know anything can happen you, you just never know i need to invest in some fire extinguishers but we'll see that's something later date whatever you know i kind of splurged getting this but i'm glad i did but anyway just thought i'd let you guys see that i got other stuff coming from amazon too i'm an amazon addict i oh, i got it bad guys i'm whew, amazon Mm -hmm. that's my drug of choice but um anyway thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah say hi say bye cole come on buddy we're at home he doesn't want to get out of the truck wanna go to the house he's looking at me anyway thanks for watching guys see you on the next one